for a response. Tanakwe, Mr. Chair, look, I, I want to make some uh, reference to the um, the uh, submission process and the concern that was expressed during that time. And I only raise it because we have heard tonight just how close the principles of the trust have worked with the minister, and that the minister has delivered exactly what those principles have asked. And one of the concerns that a submitter made was the, um, the question of donations being made uh, without uh, the total support of the, uh, of, of the beneficiaries. And uh, people can take what they like out of this, but it seems to me that uh, that uh, submitter may have had some, some reason for concern. And I, I would say, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Chairman, that what we're discussing to, tonight is actually a blueprint for the next bill that this House will be, be discussing. And uh, I just I only raise that point because of the comment made about how close the principals have worked with the minister. And uh, what we see in this uh, bill at this time is what those uh, principals have, have uh, actually requested. And I suppose, Mr. S uh, Chairman, my concern is really for the, the small beneficiary uh, holders, those who have small interests and yet are beneficiaries. And this bill, it would seem to me, uh, sir, that could alienate those small uh, uh, interest holders. And uh, irrespective of uh, the size of their shareholding, uh, at the end of the day, where we have a corporate approach to uh, dealing with the Maori interests, invariably the, sh uh, the minor shareholders lose out. And hence my earlier reference to this uh, dispute process, that if it, it isn't uh, resolved in the Maori Land Court, then it gets referred to the, to the High Court. And again, um, although I raised it, I don't think the Minister uh, sufficiently uh, uh, assured me that the costs of uh, that process would, uh, would uh, be a, a burden on the beneficiary if they should uh, enter into a dispute with the trust and the, the use of uh, trust uh, resources by the trustees to defend or to, uh, to promote their, their process. However, Mr. Mr. Chairman, we, uh, we in New Zealand First are sufficiently happy that there is the retention of the Maori Land Court to a certain extent, although we're not too happy with the, the fact that uh, the High Court will be the final resolution. Second point I want to make, Mr. Chairman, is the, um, the reference to general land and, uh, and Maori land, Maori interests. I have no uh, difficult, uh, difficulty with that, and I have no difficulty with the High Court dealing with a general uh, land. However, I do have uh, some difficulty where uh, uh, the High Court is being used to deal with uh, uh, Maori freehold land. And I think that in, uh, uh, is, is where the concern is in terms of the, the future um, retention of the trust corpus uh, property. Uh, apart from that, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman, uh, the other uh, SOP in terms of, uh, of the um, Maori television service and the uh, allocation of direct funding to Te Mahatawai. Um, while that could be a, uh, 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 a management or an administrative uh, issue, um, I, I was quite surprised to see that the, the Maori Purposes Bill 
was being used to enable that uh, direct uh, uh, funding. I would have thought that the, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Uh, Chair, I, I would have thought that the uh, the minister would have uh, made that allocation through uh, to Puni Kokiri and not resort to uh, the the need to uh, use utilising the Maori Purposes Bill. But be that as it may, uh, it's come before the House tonight. It's been included in this uh, uh, bill. And I suppose that's one of the purposes of the Maori Purposes Bill to enable those omnibus uh, uh, decisions to uh, be implemented. Um, but uh, that was the, the point I wanted to make, um, Mr. Mr. Chair. Thank you. Honourable Chair, thank you very much.